to, I'm going to have to put a little toe wrap on here. This is not my first choice, but I have a hairy athlete and I've got to go down muscle, be muscle belly. So I am going to put a little bit of pro wrap on here. Okay, now slide back and take off your, we'll take off your shoe and your sock. And um, I'm going to use elastic tape because I'm going to go around the muscle belly. Now you guys don't have elastic tape to practice with, so you're going to have to uh, still head back. Okay. A little bit. Okay, and then flex your knee. That means bend it. <laughs> and I'm going to put on some base strips while I'm doing that. So this body position is not a big deal while I'm putting on my base strips. And you'll probably use three base strips if you have elastic tape, which you'll have for your final exam, but not necessarily to practice with. So it's not going to feel great while you're practicing with one and a half inch, because there's no give, right? So I have three of these, depending on the size of the muscle belly. You can use your discretion, two to three should be fine. And also the size of your athletic budget at $7 a roll, you probably want to maybe put, you know, as minimal as you can. Then I'm going to ask my athlete to put their foot out straight, and I'm going to put a base strip on. I'm not going around muscle belly now, so all I need is one strip. Normally I would just go right over that, but... You can't, it's not going to hurt. Okay. Relax. Okay. okay, same base strip as my closed basket weave. Okay, and now I'm going to measure. Now, in order to measure, and this is again is the same principles as the elbow uh, hyper extension, flip over onto your belly, and then I'm going to pre measure. And I'm going to pre measure okay. in slight plantar flexion, right? Because I don't want them to be like this. I don't want to hold it at 90 degrees. I want them to be at a slight plantar flexion. And if I really want to save that Achilles and shorten it, I might really over-exaggerate a little bit. And I go from base strip over the heel to base strip. And then I go over to find a clean surface to make my fan. So you can turn around. So over here, I'm going to do a seven strip fan. So it uses a bit of tape. I apologize for that. Uh, and it's the idea that I'm using seven because the gastroc is so large that I can really anchor it on there. And I'm going to sort of, um, I'm going to make it smaller at one end and larger at the other, but still covering up shadows and windows. And usually if you do it well, the X will fall pretty much where the injury is, which is that sort of two inches above the calcaneal tuberosity. And try and measure it well, like don't uh, try and make them all come out at the same. And I should really exaggerate this so you can see that I'm, uh, I'm making it wider at one end, but more narrow at another end. Is it always seven strips or does that? Seven work? is usually what you need because of the size of the gastroc. If you had a very tiny foot, then maybe you could use five. But seven is good tension strength for the Achilles, the Achilles. So I've got one in the middle, and then I go, I keep crisscrossing until I have an uneven number, right? Until I have seven. And hopefully it's all measured the same length, no cutting involved. Now I have my athlete flip over to their belly again when I place it on. I'm going to put all this back here. And then I put this um, basically the, on to, to grab onto the gastrocnemius and then to come right over and articulate onto my base strip at the bottom. And the idea here is that, um, is that you want to make sure that you place this strip with him slightly at plantar flexion. And you can see the X falls right usually where that injury is. And if I've measured well, that he shouldn't be able to put his heel down when he gets up. Okay, now try and roll over onto your stomach without disrupting the tape job. And then we'll tack it all down. So we just go back over the same strips. You can actually lay it down. Lay it down. Yeah, you're fine. And I'll tack it down for you. What's this one called again? This is called the Achilles tendon. Yeah, t technique. And you can put two base strips down if you feel like you're not getting a strong enough hold, but usually one is enough. And then I'm going to put my elastic tape back up here again. And also what you might want to do for your athlete is the same as you did for your elbow hyperextension is just put a little bit of backwards piece under there so that it doesn't stick to their leg. And then my third one. 
You okay holding it up in the air? You don't yeah. actually have to do that. Yeah, very nice. Put it down. Put it down. That's it. There you go. Now, remember, remember in the uh, elbow, we also closed those little pieces off on the top. We did it at the back of the arm because we didn't want the uh, little bits at the front. But this just locks down and it looks good after you like it. Overlap by half. Avoid the shadows. Okay, and then do the little bit at the back. And you might put two there depending on the size. So, okay, just, yeah, there we go. Just to make it nice and... Okay, then I'm going to ask him to stand up. So that's the end of the tape job, but what I'll do is ask him to stand up. And normally I don't want to put um, Pro Wrap in there because as soon as you do, it starts to slide, right? So mm -hmm. ideally you would avoid the Pro Wrap, but if you were to use Pro Wrap, you'd have tough skin on there. Mm -hmm. And um, so you guys may find that you'll have trouble getting the, 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 um, the right correction because it just slips around. But now, if Chris, if you stand on the floor, this is the important part now. Now, try and put your heel down. Okay. okay, so the idea is that I should be able to barely put my heel down. So I might have like a, like a centimeter or so that I have to go down and that at the very end of it, it's a bit of a spongy end feel. And then what I'm going to do in my athlete is I'm going to grab over here some felt pads. Sorry. I think I left some over here. And you can get these felt pads in different um, sort of uh, in, uh, dimensions, like in terms of the thickness. So you just cut out a heel pad. Use your scissors to cut out a heel pad for their shoe. And then you're going to set that under them. So put your heel down on there. And, and you do, if, it's, if you don't need much, you might just use a thin one. Maybe you need a thicker one. And if you make heel pads for their shoes, then it doesn't matter that they can't put their heel down. They're still rested on that. But they're elevated enough so that it saves the Achilles. I would put a heel pad on both sides because now that you've changed the alignment on one, you want to make sure that the other side is not going to compensate. So you make heel pads and you're good to go. Okay? So give it a try.